What is going on guys? You've seen it. Coffee prices has been increasing. Everything has been increasing. But in today's video, we're gonna try to find a cup of latte that costs 10 ringgit or under and to see if those cup of lattes are worth it or not. Whether you can still get a good cup of latte for under 10 ringgit. So let's go and we'll have a few locations to head up to. Okay, so guys, our first stop is Barista, uh, coffee and tea. Ah, not too bad. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Um, so it's eight ringgit. First stop, just under 10 ringgit. Pretty affordable. That's about the toughest thought. Do a little bit hot to um, get the full flavor notes of it. But they were telling me that they are using a Cartel Coffee Supreme Brand blend, which basically I think it has a Brazil, Honduras. I think the other two it's somewhere here. I'll put the picture here of the blend. Tasting notes has it definitely has some nuttiness to it, chocolatey. Uh, I would rate it a, a solid three point five, maybe in fact four actually four out of five. So not too bad. So try it out if you're in Uptown. My barista in the make good coffee here. Second cup of the day from Chase Coffee. It's actually just one minute down the road uh, from my barista, which is the first one. It's also eight ringgit for a white. Thing. So pretty good. Let's take a look at the Latin art. Good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. They were saying that they were using some Brazil chorizo beans. So let's try to. But sip. Let's give it a second sip. Nope. <laughs> I think this is a two out of five. Um, just a very weird uh, sourness to it. Um, which Torreto beans shouldn't be. It should be more not the original Torreto. But it has sour notes to it. And it's just not the nice acidity. It's a very weird kind of, it's most, almost like a vegetable. It's just feels like the coffee's not extracted properly. The milk and everything is steamed well. Um, actually, wise this mouth is also not so bad, but just the notes of um, vegetal and just uh, sourness to it, it's just really weird. You know, that's not a go for me. So, so let's head on to the next. So this is by far the best latte art so far on a takeaway cup. And it's not too important, but I mean, if you think you do a latte art, why not, right? Look at this. The best indication of the mix thing perfectly is if you wait for a while and it doesn't bubble up, it's one of the good indications to show that the milk is steamed really well. So they say that uh, it's eight ringgit a cup, all white. Uh, they say that it's a blend of four different origins, Honduras, Brazil, Papua New Guinea, and India, I think so. And I have a suspicion it's the same one that was used by my barista. So it's by Cartel Coffee and it's the Supreme blend. 
Not sure if it's the same. Let's try. Yep. I think it's the same. This is like slightly more extracted, which is good or, or bad. It depends on how you interpret it. Um, it's good in a way because it, um, it, it's a little bit uh, towards the chocolatey and bitter, slight bitter side. So if you don't like too bitter, maybe my barista, it's better. But this has a little hint of bitter notes to it, and most Malaysians like it. Um, not bad. I'll give this a 4, the same thing, a 4 out of 5. I um, think just because of the beans that they use in um, extraction-wise, I still prefer my barista. I think they extract it better. Not sure if it's the equipment or the technique of the barista. But the latte art, 5 out of 5 for this, definitely. Um, so, this is our third stop. We have two more stops to go, and we'll see which one would get a 5 out of 5 in my notes, right? So let's go. Okay, so this uh, coffee, he told me that it, it's a pretty nice guy. It's milk, and he said that it's... Um, uh, it's a copy from India. It's a roastery called Soul Sacrifice. Um, so his coffee is seven ringgit for a single shot. Uh, a double shot would be nine ringgit. So still below ten ringgit. Uh, so far, uh, definitely can tell it's a it's a it's a bean from India. Hmm. Today actually a lot of beans. Most of the beans that we tried are from India, or at least as India composite in it, which is pretty rare in Malaysia. You don't really get a lot of India. Uh, coffee, but um, nice, nice, nice blend. Uh, it's good with latte. Uh, not too much uh, chocolatey notes. Uh, more um, earthy, a little bit of earthy notes. Reminds me a bit about Sumatra. With everything considered, I would give this a three point five to four. Also, around there, right? So if I were to rank it so far right now, my barista would be first, right? And then after that, it will be um, Mac Culture. And then now, um, so sacrifice. Not too bad, not too shabby, really fast service. Only five ringgit. This is like the cheapest copy ever. Like I don't think you can find five ringgit lattes anymore and 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 listing playing belt. Let's try. Not bad. Very unique. I can tell like it's like a single origin. So he says it's a Papua New Guinea. Very nice. I think it was sort of like a four. Even the four for a bite out of bite because of the price. Good copy. Recommend it. Five ring it. I don't think you can go wrong with five ring. What is going on guys? So we've come back and we've tasted all five different coffee from five different places. And so here are the conclusions. Let's first talk about the price. Three of this, they're all eight ring it. This is actually seven ring it for a single shot. But since we're all comparing just double shot, this is actually nine ring it for a double shot. So slightly more expensive, one ring it more. The cheapest of them all is this one over here, room 203. We kind of threw away the cup, so we have to use this as a replacement. But Rune 203, can you believe it? Five ringgit for a cup of white coffee or latte, right? Amazing, like best value deal for your buck, your money. Well, let's go into this really quickly. My barista, they use this blend, and for me, this is the best cup of coffee out of all these five. Um, very nice balanced notes of chocolatey, nutty, not too bitter in the middle of um, balance, uh, acidity, and sweetness. I really like this cup. Now, Chase Coffee, I think they use a single origin, or if they use a blend, it, somehow it's just, it, it's not working out. Um, I think it has some vegetal notes to it. I think it's because the, in the roasting process, some something went wrong. So this is, a uh, uh, out of all these, this would probably not run as high for me compared to these five. Now, let's talk about Mac Culture. Mad Culture, pretty nice place, really friendly owner. Also, eight ringgit a cup. If I were to guess, I think they use the same blend and from the same roaster, Kato Coffee. Really nice cup of coffee too. If you just make a two comparison, this is slightly more bitter and this is more balanced. So this still has a slight upper edge. Um, 
medium coffee. Now we get for a cup. They were using India a, a, a coffee from India. It's a single origin. Uh, it definitely is a unique cup of coffee. Um, it's not really my preference, but I I, I do get it. I, I I understand if you are up for an adventure and want something that is different, like a single origin coffee. Uh, this is a pretty good cup. Now the last one, room two o three. This guy's amazing. Five ringgit for a cup of latte in 2023, unheard of. Now, they were using coffee from uh, coffee roasters called Common Man Coffee Roasters. Pretty renowned roaster. They were using a Papua New Guinea uh, a coffee, single origin. This cup is definitely, if uh, you want something that's complex, that is balanced, that is nice, that is not like any other traditional latte, I think this uh, Room 203 really deserve a shout out. Uh, the owner, I won't say he's friendly. I won't say he's not friendly. He's just churning out coffees, you know, and cash only. So, compare all these five. Winner, my barista. Shout out to the team at Uptown. Good service, quick, fast, reliable, efficient. Mm -hmm. Lastly, best tasting coffee to me. And um, followed by, I would say, Matt Houdrick. Very, really good. And then later on, room 203. So, what are your thoughts after having seen all these five coffees? that are under 10 ringgit, do you think they are worth it? Do you think you will try any of them? Give them a try, give them a shout out, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.